Hello, we're Skylar and Felicia. We're going to talk about plant-based diet. Plant-based diet is the diet where the main source is from plants, including nuts, seeds and whole grains. It avoids meat, especially red meat, which contains high saturated fat as it would increase the cholesterol level in the blood vessel and in turn increase the risk of heart disease. While it also contains nitrites, which produce cancer-causing chemicals, increasing the risk of cancer. While the plants have more fiber, vitamins and minerals, helping to boost the immune system and reduce inflammation. By not strictly restricting meat, it makes it more approachable than other diets, for example, veganism. However, some people may wonder what if there's not enough proteins from plants or that they would suffer from a lack of vitamins. These are all caused by the limited choices of vegetables supplied. Then what's the solution? According to Dr. Moller, the key in our diets is to have more variations. By including more different kinds of vegetables, we can obtain sufficient nutrients of all. Therefore, we've come up with three solutions to cope with different levels of organisations, individual, local and national. Firstly, sticker packs are designed for each and every single one of you with every kind of vegetable that you can name. Since we're in the age of the digital world, we also took the initiative of going environmentally friendly and created an electronic version of the sticker packs. They can be put into calendars to quickly keep track of your diet and ensure that it's balanced. For local districts, we hope to encourage more farmers to plant more diversity where possible such that more kinds of products can be harvested, forming a self-sufficient and sustainable cycle. Repeatedly having a limited types of vegetables would not give you a diverse nutrient. Therefore, farmers could be encouraged to plant some other vegetables, for example, bok choy or choy sum. Although they might not see vegetables from their Western countries, they can actually adopt pretty well to the climate in the UK. Last but not least, we hope to introduce an effect over the nation with the help of the supermarket chains. They could put on small nutritional facts in front of each product, which is like this sample. As this is right next to the price tag, it is more likely to catch customers' attention. In addition, we would like to take this chance to share our platform of information on plant-based diet here, dietmate.weebly.com. Feel free to check it out and learn more about diets. Thank you.